been a minute, what? Park. It's been a minute since I filmed a video. And today we're out here in Morocco, the sunny Marrakesh at Atlas Golf. And I'm, I'm super excited to see what I can shoot today. I mean, the conditions are lovely, little breeze, 22 degrees, not a cloud in sight. Now this golf course I played last year with rental clubs and I've brought my trusty set with me this time. Well, I say trusty, I can't hit them for shit, but we're gonna try and hack around a good score today. I'll film every shot, good, bad, the ugly, which would be me. Um, and let's, let's get into it. It's nine holes today, not playing the 18 because it's too bloody hot. The nine hole score is 33. So I reckon anything sub 40 is, is gonna be a good score for me today. I'm playing off 12 at the minute. Uh, not the best golf I played throughout the winter. So it's gonna be a nice change though. I've had a little chip and a putt and the greens just look lush. No bobbles, no divots, just smooth rolling. You can't complain really. There's no excuses today. Apart from all the excuses that I'll probably come up with halfway through the round. So we've got the first hole here at Atlas Golf. It's par five, 400 and 37 metres, pretty straight down. The flag's just down there on the right. I've got a lot of room right to miss, but I don't want to go there because I think it's water. I've got room left, so I'm going to aim. So the bunkers on the left, they're, about, they're out there about 3, 3.30. So I'll just aim, aim down there, fade one back into the middle probably. So just driving up here now and I mean, both balls are pretty much identical. They're straight next to each other, just in the fairway here. I mean, I nearly, very nearly ran out of room. There's OB right and it was uh, looked pretty close to coming into that. I mean, we've got a good lie from both balls. I'll take the first one, put the second one away. No more breakfast balls for me. We'll see where, where we have to go. I can see a little portion of the green up there, but it looks quite far away. So we'll see, see how far it is. We have 216 yards left into this green from what I can see. Uh, I'm just gonna aim at what I can see. So there's a, a bit of green uh, at the corner of the building up there. I'm gonna aim for the corner. And if it fades a touch, then the green wraps around. So I'll be safe. I'm gonna hit, a six iron, it's warm, so I'm not sure how far they'll go today. Um, in the summer back home, it's sort of a six iron club, 210. So we'll hit it, we'll see, there's a touch of wind into off the right. So let's just put a good swing on it. I'm not sure where that one's gone. I think it'll be just up right of the green. So that second shot, I mean, it was struck well, just spun a bit into the wind and it's, it's landed up just short, short left. Um, I've got a massive false front here to cover. So I'm thinking, I mean, I'm gonna take a 58, try and land it up here and see if it rolls out a touch. It's all uphill. Um, I think, I'm not sure how grain worked, but I think if it's like super shiny, it's down grain. If it looks sort of like darker, it's, it's into grain. And all of this looks dark and then down shiny. So I think it's all into grain. Um, so I can fly it most of the way. Sit down, oh, let's get the camera. Oh my goodness. These things got a bit of fucking kick in them, don't they? Sit down. Stay on the hill. Okay, that's fine. It's fine there. Got a long old putt though, where's the rake? I mean, that bunker shot was a, 
was abysmal to say the least. That was a, almost a shank. But I've got a putt at it for, this is a birdie putt somehow. No, it's not. This is a par up the hill. It's gonna go a little bit right at the end, I think. But I'm not even miss about a ball outside the cup. <laughs> what a way to start. That is an unreal putt. That's par. Thank you, Atlas Golf. These greens are just unreal. The practice green, everything. It's lush, you hit your line, you roll it. As long as you're confident, it's going in. And that's amazing. Second hole here. We've got 321 meters. So, well, I don't know what that is in yards. I'm not even gonna try and work it out. I don't know the conversion. I can see the flag down there. Um, again, I think there's danger right. So I'm gonna hit a three wood just up the, up the center, best I can. I'm, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm playing off the whites today. So they've got five T tiers. Uh, Red, blue, yellow, white, and black. The white and blacks are often on the same tee box, uh, but I didn't fancy the black tees today. So let's aim at the palm tree down there. Put a nice swing on it. Oh, bad bounce. But I mean, that should be pretty good. I mean, it's a touch behind, but it'll be okay. It'll play. I took so too much off that. I, I went, what? Well, that's well short. Don't know what I did there. Whether I went underneath it or, or what? It's confusing. I mean, this looks like it used to be a bunker. Oh, that's a stinky lie. This is actually horrendous. All right, choke down a touch, close the face, hit the back of the ball. That has come out. Sit down. I mean, that's pretty good from where I was. Come back a bit. Oh, and it's rolling back. I'm a golfer. Come back. Oh, I mean, from there, a little tap in bogey is not, not bad. On to the third. Be so good. Go. Oh. Oh. It's taking a massive bounce back into the bunker. For this par three, let's see if my UK driving skills are as good in Morocco. Uh, so this par three is stunning. It overlooks the clubhouse. Pretty tough. There's water and OB right and left on this hole, uh, and I definitely just end up in the bunker. Um, so see how good my short game is. I've been watching a few short game videos where I came out here just to make sure it was okay. So let's hope, wow, look at this, it's lovely. That is crazy. This can be a, a tricky hole. Good roll, break, break, break. Oh. Just haven't hit it, have not hit it. Oh. It's got 
50 yards, it's into the breezo, so I'm going to hit an eight. Based on how the last few shots have gone, I think eight were a pretty good number. Back to back par threes, see if we can't redeem ourselves. Let's fade it. Oh, it's on the hill right, but again, bad strike. I've a pitch, it just done the semi, just in like the first cut. And it, all this stuff is so fluffy. So it's like you either go under it or try and pick it. I'm gonna try and pick it, land it just on the slope. It's gonna roll down to the right, hopefully. Be so good. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, so my five feet was actually more like 11 feet. It starts uphill. So. Break, oh, that's so poor. Oh, that's not, not good golf at all. We got 292 to the flag. I mean, it's into wind, so I'm not getting there with the driver today. And there looks to be OB in front of the green. So I'm gonna hit a, just a little three hybrid. Just aim at the, at the red bush down the end. Draw, draw, left that face open. And it's fine, but water just here, which I think could have eaten it up if I'd hit it well. Um, I don't know how far we got, 60 yards, 70 yards. I'm gonna just do like a little feel, 58. Go, go. That is so lucky. So I'm just in the shit. I mean, I'm just in the, the rubbish over here. And I just spoke to one of the, the groundskeepers who saw me hit a bad shot. I think he felt bad for me, so he's just given me three golf balls, all of which are Pro V1. So I've made about 12 quid. Um, we've got a pretty nasty shot here. It's on a side hill lie. Um, I mean, this, this is actually going to be brutal trying to get up and down, but we'll give it our best go. Right, I need to change the camera battery after this. Now, I really hope the camera did not die before I hit that golf shot, because that was like probably the best golf shot I've hit today. And now I've just got to make a putt. And if I miss this, I'm going to blame it on their cutting abilities. But nice firm putt. Centre of the cup. We're back on track. Now see, my French is coming along nicely. Hello, bonjour and mercy. We've got 194 yard par three. Now I don't know if any of you have played Mill Rise, but their third hole looks very much like this. It's pretty much identical, uh, except this has got less water. It's sunnier. It's bloody beautiful to look at. But apart from all that, it's the exact same. Um, I'm just going to smooth the six iron, just straight down the throat. Like that, be good. Front edge of the green, tough part, it's uphill then downhill, big right to left. I'm going to aim almost at the edge of the, the shadow of the flag and just give it a nice roll. Oh, just hit it. That was online. That was so good. Bash. Oh. Struggling next to this one. This is the 
second hardest hole on the course. Four on 360 meters. Uh, I'm just gonna aim dead straight. I can see the green. And if it fades, there's just a few bunkers. Oh, that's so good. Saw it down. I don't know if it clipped those trees or what. We've got what? We've got 40 meters left into the flight. So that, that ball has traveled in the air. 320 meters. What's that in yards? I don't know what that is in yards. That's hit nice. The green, it's, I've got to fly it past that ridge. There's, there's two ridges I've got to fly past. The, the flag's just in a little bowl. If I just hit a nice one. Every, why is everything just so short? Like, why am I, my, I'm not either committing to my wedges or, I mean, I've left that short again, in my wedge. I need to work on this. This now is, oh, I land it on the, it's, it's like fairway fringe and get it to stop. And roll down. I mean, that's just, see that part of the game I can do, but it's like pitch shots. Pitch shots are the hard one. Like that, that's five feet and I've got a par putt. So I see if I can get there on the first go, Just, just in any more pace and that's out, but I mean, another par, good par, move on. Hole, no. Nine, eight, seven, seventh hole. Don't know why I struggle with that. Uh, second to last hole today, it's a drive for par four, straight down. Wind is slightly off the right, so I'm basically aiming at the two trees closest together. I'm gonna get there, I reckon, three wood. Oh, it's there, it's just right. Right, oh, get out. Just short. Um, I mean, it was a good good shot, like, I'd be in the bunker if I was a little bit less, so. I've got a pretty tough chip though now. Yeah, learn from my mistakes, club up a little bit, and just try and get one up and down. That is flown. Spin. Oh, trickling down a little bit. It's not too bad. It's downhill. It's sliding. There's an old cup here that I think I'm going to aim just on the outside of. Yeah, aim on that. Okay, it's another par. Let's move on to the ninth, shall we? So guys, we've got the ninth hole here. It's par three again, 160 yards. Uh, slightly into and across. I'm just gonna aim an eight iron at the center of the green. Uh, let's see if we can't make a putt. Let's make a birdie before leaving here today. All that wind has just picked up. All right. Be good. Sit down. Wow. I don't normally feel pressure when I'm playing golf, but the 18th, uh, the 18th green overlooks the uh, the clubhouse, and there are maybe 40, 50 people looking at me right now. So this is not. 
lot of fun. I mean, there is water behind here, so I was pretty lucky I didn't go off the edge. Aim, it's gonna go a little bit right at the end. Oh, it's not a bad putt at all. Really not a bad putt. That's so bad. Right, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone if you've watched this far. Uh, I mean, this has been fun. We've got more coming up in Morocco. We've got uh, Royal Morocco next, or Royal Marrakesh we're playing next which was created for the King way back in the day. Um, this course has been amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, I may not have shot the best, I may not have shot what I wanted to, but I'll always come play here again. So Atlas Golf, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.